You are in for a serious treat today. We're at my friend John's house here. Can't tell you where it is because I'll have to shoot you. This is one of the kickest, most kick-ass private collections I've ever seen. The hair is standing up in my arms. But uh, come on, let's see if I let us in. John, what's hey, happening, man, brother? Man. How you doing? All right, brother. First time I walked in this door, my heart skipped a beat, man. I was like, you got the paddles? This is a brand new Christmas special. Never seen the, the dirt. Look at this thing. It's got the nubbies on the tire still. It's absolutely pristine, brand new condition. He's got so many goodies around here. I was like, I was like, I could have turned around and drove home, and it's an hour round trip just in the foyer right here. He's got a brand new pair of Fox Air Shocks. He's got a um, what what head is that, John? That's an FMF. FMF head, rows of of brand new vintage helmets. Uh, the factory Fox Springs. This guys, this is a genuine motocross Fox jersey. I've seen these online, four hundred dollars and up. Um, this is the real deal. This is not a reproduction. This is a real one. Oh, well, you want to see the reproduction? He's got that right over here. He's got the reproduction one, too. Look at this. Babe, check. Uh, Pro Circuit. Uh, what is that? The um, That's the... Um, we got the... This is a, another motocross Fox jersey, probably, right? Yeah. And a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. Oh, there we go. Look at this. This stuff is unobtainium. Why is it unobtainium? Because most guys rode it at dirt tracks like Southwick and ruined it. Look at that. The motocross wow. Fox shirt. Um, look at this one. This is another. This is original. a genuine original motocross Fox jersey. This is off the hook. Um, just every everywhere you go. We were out in the barn. He's got some really cool stuff out in the barn. He's got a Can-Am 250. Um, got a, look at this 1987 Metzler motorcycle tire specialist graphic up on the on the thing there. Um, look at the, look at these right right here. These have been sitting here for a little while. Look at these brand new Fox factory shocks. Um, that. If they've been on a bike, it was only for an hour or so. I mean, they're like mint shape, beautiful. And then these are the matching Fox factory forks right here, right? Yes. Motocross. Look at this. Look at the motocross Fox poster. When's the last time you've seen one of these? Probably never. We're, this is an um, original 1977 uh, Paul Richter and uh, Bailey and uh, Barnett poster right here. Um, just awesome. Just an awesome piece. Um, what's what's in here? Oh, it's got the Ryan, Ryan Villapoto uh, stand up. Ryan Villapoto, actually uh, life size Ryan Vill, Villapoto. And then um, back over here, look at this. I just when we got to the helmet, I was like, John, can I film this stuff? Because the world needs to see this. This is a brand new Bell Moto Three. Okay, I had one of these forty years ago. I had one in nineteen seventy nine, and I just destroyed it in short order. This is a, and it was the same color. This is this one's brand spanking new. It's, it even smells new. <laughs> John, it's awesome. He's got the box that it goes in, too. Man. Um, Some more Fox shirts. I was, I was falling asleep on the way here in the car. I said, when I, as soon as he opened the door, I was wide awake. <laughs> That's a reproduction. That's a 2014. This was the 40-year um, uh, anniversary Fox jersey. He's got the JT helmet, the Troy Lee's Designs helmet, the Fox helmet, uh, another Fox helmet, and two HJCs. Some Fox logos. Look at those MX Fox boots up there. When's the last time? I'll tell you when the last time you saw one. 1979, okay? Because they got ruined. So to find a pair like that in mint shape is just unobtainium. You think you've seen it all? You yeah, haven't. Come here, check this out. That's just the entryway. Over here, we've got a mint Honda SL70 uh, with 287 miles. He's got a Honda XR80 that's in really nice condition, all original. The tank's not dented. He's got an X, this is an SL100 with a 2100 original miles on it. Beautiful bike. Then over here, it gets really, really, really fun. He's got this Elsinore CR250 1980. Um, this one, uh, John, what's special about this one here? This is an 80, right? That's a 1980. You, you totally rebuilt this, that, didn't you? That's been a ground up rebuild. That's got a CR480 front end. I knew something about the rent all bars. Everything is just a little more heavy duty. The rims, Bullet too. Proof. Gold rims. Gold rims. Uh, Buchanan spokes, um, just beautiful. The best that I could get for it, I got for it. And this is where I wanted to make the uh, Johnny O'Mara special, which these come in. You'll never see these. These are original Johnny O'Mara. Wow, those are Mugen side panels. Mugen side panels. And he's got. A, we I I passed up the the Mugen uh, engine parts in the foyer there. I got to show you those. He's got an unobtainium set of Mugen. Uh, and look at this thing right here. This is. This is this is a dream bike right here. This is a Honda. Describe this one for a second here. Jeff. That's a Motor Fox Honda. 
with uh, a couple extra things that you really don't see is the head stay is Moto Fox, the Fox forks, the factory forks. The head stay? It, point to that with a part and just you can zoom in on it. The head stay right here is an aluminum Fox manufacturer. See, that mounts the engine. And, yeah. and then look at the chain guy by the shock back there. I and guarantee that, you guys, see, see what she's looking at behind the shock? That, that's a motocross Fox shock guy. You've, they made a very, very few of those. And, and a really cool view. If you back up a little bit and you get both swing arms in the view, come back this way a little bit. And you can see both. That's the stock one. Let me see it for a second, honey. This is a stock one right here to your left. And, and that's 1980. And this is a 1980 Motocross Fox factory one. You can see it's like the structural integrity in, uh, of that is. It's longer than the stock one too, isn't it, John? Yes, I believe it is. It's awesome. Um, and the pipe, it's got the... Um, the DG pipe, so it's a full DG kitted motor with a full fo factory Fox and the paint jobs off the hook, the red and white. This kind of matches. This is like the big brother to the 125 we have, the Motocross Fox 125. Um, this has got fo Fax, Fox factory forks. Say that five times fast. 44 millimeter. 44 millimeter, um, which is day, yeah. just awesome. Awesome. And then he's got over here the death machine. I almost died on one of these in 1991. RZ350, I flipped it over backwards on Route 6. Part of my ankle is still there somewhere. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I uh, flipped one of those over backwards to ride in a massive wheelie down the road. Not one of my finer summers. And then he's got a, a bevy of RMs here. One signed by the Bad Brad Lackey. That's a DG RM80. DG RM80. And uh, he met Brad at Mid-Ohio, which is coming up soon, soon, AMA Vintage Days. So, um, what do you think, honey? I think it's pretty cool. Pretty badass, huh? You got some really yeah. cool stuff. And then he's got a, this Monte, this is a, what's this right here? This That's is an Osa Grippa. Look at the exhaust system on this thing. It's 250. The exhaust is just awesome. It's, it's like a Cobra it wraps around the frame. And another cool piece is, see how the frame is bolted? Right there, this this down piece right here is bolted. Just awesome. Then he's got a, that, that uh, his race number. That's his race number from when he raced at NESC. That's a RMZ 400 and a pimped out KX250. And then check this thing out. This is a 2002 Kawasaki KX250 two-stroke, folks. This is the this is the uh, James Bubba Stewart special right here. This thing is so pristine. It's a little, little little. He wrote it and got a little dirt on the pipe, but it's got like two hours on it. Things pristine. And then he's got a um, RM400 1979, I think. Yes. Out in the barn, he's got a, like three RM125s from the same era. And then a YZ125 liquid cool Bob Hanna special right here. Look at this thing. Liquid cool. I think it looks like brand new. And then this is the one I was really excited about coming to see this one today. This is this is like a drain bike. This is something I've been looking to try to get for the museum for a while. This is an AMF Harley Davidson 250. They're kind of, uh, they're not unobtainium, but they're really expensive, which is a barrier to entry for anybody, <laughs> of course. So you don't see too many of these. Uh, um, being ridden these days, they've just become so rare and collectible. Uh, and this is an original, right, John? All original, except for the grips and the bar pad. Grips and bar pad, uh, the, even the tires are original, and the frame rails that was crawling around underneath it, they're pristine. You see a lot of night restored ones that are beautiful, but this is, you know, like I said many times, once a ones. cucumber becomes a pickle, you know, <laughs> it's never a cucumber, cucumber again. This is a cucumber, folks. <laughs> then he's got an RM500. This is a Jimmy Meenan special right here. Look at this thing. Meenan cleaned up on these one. I have his seven-foot trophy in the museum. that He from winning the Grand National. He won all four championships that year. And then we've got a, this This looks basically, uh, John, This is, you said this has only got a couple hours on it, too. Yeah, if that. that's, that's like brand new. And everywhere you look, this guy's a real motocross fan. Some killer posters, Ricky Carmichael stuff. And you think those jerseys were cool? Wait till you see this. Look at this jersey. This is an original 1978 Harley Davidson issue motocross factory team jersey, which I don't ever remember even seeing one then, let alone now. And I, I've been at Southwick every year at the Nationals since 1974. Never missed one. So, what's it say on the back? Does it say Harley on the back? Um, I don't think it says anything on the back. Nothing. So, it's just, uh, can you turn around? I want to see what it looks like. Under... That's pretty cool. So, they would have put, put the rider's number, number back there. there, yeah. And But it's got the orange and black sleeves, extra little, large. Little padding in here. That is a cool piece. It's very, very cool. Only seen two of them. I, well, you've got me beat. I, that's the first one I've ever seen. I doubt I'll see another one. 
Uh, just like the Mugen hats in here. These Mugen hats. When's the last time you've seen a competition Mugen power hat? Well, probably never. Um, and here's another original. And then, where's the Mugen engine parts? He's got a original Mugen 460 kit in the box. 460 Brandon. kit. Which is, you said that's worth about how much? That's got to be worth five grand. If you could even find one. I mean, I mean, they haven't made these for, what, 40 years? And mm -hmm. most of them got used. How do you find an NOS one? Well, it's very, very rare. This piece right here, that's worth about 2600 bucks. That's the uh, side cover um, for a Mugen. That's... Man, hope you have good fire insurance here. <laughs> this, you got a lot. You got a uh, open cylinder. Yeah, valve springs. I mean, uh, clutch springs. So you were gonna build a, a Mugen factory replica, right? Yep, two of them, a 125 and a 450, a 460. Look at these boots right here, high point boots. Man, the, the original, not repos. Those are those are the real deal. <laughs> I like my factory. That's kind of cool. Factory stickers, original. Is it? Is that a? Is that a cooler? Yes. Put your drinks in there when you're on your way to the track. Oh, look at that, huh? Bottle opener. Yeah, I don't think you'd be riding after you drink that kind of drink, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Wow. What an awesome collection. Very cool. Going. I mean, I got some more stuff. Wow. Those are the Fo Fox factory shocks. Awesome. <laughs> so now we're going down the stairs. Watch your head, honey. Down here to the basement garage that um has got some unobtainium stuff in it more unobtainium starting with this 450r what year is this 450r john That's this one 81 81 450r is this the one that had the crazy front number plate on it yes he's got a brand new number plate a stock one that goes with this thing this is a beautiful piece and in this box here he's he's got about 60 um underneath the, the bench here banners from the racetracks in the 70s and 80s all the cool motocross fox and uh all the different banners, uh, just boxes and boxes of banners from the racetracks from Unadilla and Southwick. And, you know, when the, when the end of the race, everybody run out and steal all the banners. Well, John, I think John's uh, caught right-handed here. <laughs> Actually, uh, somebody was returning some favors and grabbed a few for you is what I heard. That, that wasn't by my hand. So you're not taking the blame. <laughs> but you may be hand. guilty by association. And this this is kind of cool here. This is another 450R. You remember the Mugen 450 kit we showed you upstairs, which is... Well, you can't even, it's priceless because you, you can never buy it. It's just unobtainium. I've never just, even seen another one. Yeah, and you won't ever again, probably, but it may be, you know, it may be worth more to leave it in a box. Well, if you put it on the bike, this bike, he's going to build a Mugen 450. And ironically, Mugen although this one, this one looks more pristine than this one, the frame rails on the bottom of this one, um, these ones are, are like virgin compared to that one. That one's got a dent, a little small dent. That's what you said, right? You wanted one of these. One of these three, whichever one has the best frame. Uh, one of the frame rails is pristine. He's going to build a Mugen 450. This one has twin Fox Shock remote reservoir canisters on it, which is kind of really unique. I've never, I've never seen that before, actually. But um, you said the, the rider was a heavier rider, and um, this canister's uh, obviously missing a piece. But he had a dual Fox factory setup, so. This one's he's gonna rebuild. And there's his, his uh, pit bike for zooming around the pits, KLX 250. And over here, he's got a collection of parts that are, again, unobtainium. These are boxes of brand new AMF Harley Davidson MX 250. Um, here's a clutch hub for the 70 MX 250. With the gear. With the gear, he's got a cylinder and piston, brand new, never been on the bike. Um, MX 250 has been NOS been sitting around on the shelf for 40 years. And um, look at this grips, um, levers with the whole set with the covers and the boots and the adjusters. Somewhere in the area of fifteen thousand dollars, he's got invested in MX. You said you basically have a whole engine here, right? I have it in one of these boxes. I have an engine. Complete MX. Is it a, a used motor or yes? Used MX two fifty engine, which is Original if you've been following grips. these on Meekum, they're bringing twenty large and up if they're in good shape. So this is the hard to come by. And all the parts. Actually, this goes to that shortster. Okay, cool. Barn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got an AMF. We didn't show you the barn stuff. We didn't start filming out there. There's an AMF Harley Davidson Shortster, a couple RM 125s, a CR 80, um, all kinds of crazy, cool old dirt bikes. A Can Am 250, uh, Mako. A Mako 250. That's our Z 350 parts. Oh, 
Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> you grab a Heineken. Hell yeah. I'm going to Spectral Light. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Spectral Light. That's, cool. That's a nice one. Brand new one. You got the James Bubba Stewart over there. Supercross poster in the corner. He's got posters everywhere. Posters and boxes. That's kind of a cool one. Back up to the okay, shop yeah. area. Some cool posters on the on the door here. All right, uh, not not poster signs, metal signs. But back to this Christmas special. Um, how long have you owned this one? Did you buy this brand new? It's it's, yeah, a, it's brand new. Obviously, never been ridden. It's absolutely pristine. Most kids destroy these things in short order. This is a, a red carry cable for the fork. We just missed what was in that box there. I wasn't filming. You got to see. It's a brand new RM125 gas tank from 1982. NOS. This, this one's not open, but it's a brand new pair of Barrick boots. Wow. Ricky Carmichael boots. Can, you, can I see that tank one more time? Sure. I'm going to show you. This is something you'll never see again. NOS RM125 tank with the decals in the NOS box with the NOS packaging. Wow. Do you own one of those 125s? Yes. Is that, you bought that? Well, before? I used to have an 82, and that's an 83. I got rid of it. Yeah, that's right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Here's a... Another one. For 1983, the RM80 that I'm going to do downstairs. Wow, that that's thing's a, cherry. Brand new. Wow. Old Never song. been used. No. That's going to be really nice. He's doing a frame off on an RM80 right now. There's the kitty. There's a kitty. A kitty cat. 